playing lots of games with Christmas type names instead of a train. We're on a steam sleigh. Choo choo choo. Hey everybody. All right, we're back. All right, now. Ross, you were about to tell no, it wasn't. the world's most amazing story. Oh, really? I gotta hear I really this. Wasn't. All right, go. Come on, Ross. Virgin America, and that, guys, this he doesn't happen so often. Guys. This doesn't happen often. An airline lost your luggage. Okay, I, I did the same. I can't believe this. I know, right? Yep. I've never heard of this before. Ross, okay, Ross, please tell us the story. Go. I got to get really get on the mic, and no one can hear you. <laughs> I got to Chicago, and they I lost my luggage. What'd you do? I made a report. I know, but what'd you do without any clothes? Slept naked. Nice. <laughs> in the snow? Guys, There's more to the story, but I'm not sharing there. it now because like Brian no, no, was a little butt. No, we gotta know now, Ross. You gotta Okay, the fine. There was this medical student, and he was panicking like crazy because he's like, Where, where's my bag? Where's my bag? And I was like, oh man, I'm sorry. He's like, I need my bag. I'm here for, uh... I'm here for my job interview. I'm, I'm a medical student. Are you making oh, this sound like you're making it up? I'm not making it up. This really happened. Oh my and how could a story be this interesting? It's, uh, and, it's amazing. And then he was freaking out. And I was like, I'm really sorry, man. And and it's like, I lost mine too. And then, uh, what happened? He was like, yeah, I have sensitive science equipment and my interview clothes in there. I'm totally Aww. fucked. Oh, oh was, guys, gotta, we, we build, build, gotta build a snowman. Everyone shut up for just a second. Gotta build a <laughs> snowman. Everyone. Well, you have to do the one in the picture, right? Yep, bam. Anyway. So then this guy was like, all right, come into this glass room. And then the whole time we we're in the glass room, he was just like, this kid was like freaking out. And I just said to him, like, oh, I'm real sorry, man. Uh, I think the reason it happened to me is because Orf went through a ladder while I was uh, oh, trying to pull down the black Christmas. Black cat going under a yeah. ladder, I see. He went, he, he, I was trying to get some shit down from the attic and he went through the ladder. And oh, I was no. like, fucking cat, what have you done to me? <laughs> um, and then uh, what happened was there was this moment in the glass room where the guy, the attendant, the virgin attendant, he was like, we have one Wait, of you your know, bags. How did you know this guy was a virgin? I could tell. Boom. It's smelling on him. Master class in <laughs> Look, when, when you're around me, me, you can smell pussy, oh but like God. when wow. you're around Ross. him, I'm just saying. Or dick. I mean, I don't know. Thank you. That's all um, I was asking for. We did so, it. Basically, all I'm idea. saying is this guy, the, the guy was like, we have one of your bags, and I could just hear the reality, t like, TV, you like, hear, like, hit. A drum roll? The dum dum! And then Who's there was bag? like, he like, left a long pause, like we were literally on a reality <laughs> show, and I was like, please be his shit, please, because I just had underpants and shit, I can sleep <laughs> naked. That, oh, when you travel, do you just travel with a bag of underpants? <laughs> I try to go, uh, yeah, in, in my basically, mind, that's how you travel. Shirts, uh, multiple shirts. And some undies, and I'm fine. Uh, but like, yeah, no, luckily socks. it was. The, socks yeah, I have so multiple socks okay. too, Susie. Uh, but yeah, it was Did his you shit. Say pants? It was Did his you bring, shit, not do you mine. Bring pants. To the brush. Yeah. What? Yeah, it, like, what, what, what toiletries do you bring, Ross? Q-tips. Uh, yeah. Oh, Q-tips are. I, I, I bring a monster cock dildo, okay? Sure. Is that what you want to hear? I bring a monster cock dildo All in right, my well, whose bag, bag did he have? Whose bag did he have? They had the medical students. Nice. Aww, yeah. That's good. That's and a then, Christmas miracle. Was he like so grateful to you that he gave you some of his science equipment? No. And it was a holiday miracle? That would have been cool. That would have yeah. been cool. That like, would actually... And I could have made meth. Okay. Yeah. That took a weird turn. That and was not what I was expecting to happen, Ross. Let's How cook. do you make meth, Ross? Serious question, Ross. How do you think you make meth? Um, well, you gotta answer, answer this. You gotta put in some uh, E's, like the drug, and then you put in some T's, and then some H's, and then some M's, mm -hmm. and then you get meth. Isn't it just yeah, like, okay, it's right. like batteries, cat litter, soap, bleach. Don't forget soap. Yeah. Are you teaching yeah. our fans how to make meth? Yeah. Welcome to Science Grumps. Today we're going to teach you how to make meth. The, the secret to making meth is that is legal? Are we allowed to we're like post a video? We're not telling people how to make meth. We're just strongly encouraging them to do it. <laughs> like strongly. I want to be like the fucking Heisman and make tons of money I, I selling you, meth. I think you mean Heisenberg, Sus. I've never seen Breaking Bad. <laughs> Heisman is a football player, is he not? Uh. Well, oh, okay. Anyways, Ross. Every time mm. that I've lost my bag. Uh, they de hand delivered it to me like the yeah, next day. Yeah, they did day. that to me too. They oh, did really? it, so they yeah. did find it for you. Yeah, yeah. Wow. found it. It was That's cool. Good. Cause I heard that you guys like made like a Target detour and bought clothes. Oh, the clothes sucked. Well, cause they're, they're from Target. Yeah, and they're like, you know, when like a like a like a design is printed, but it's like shittily printed. So when you put it on, it's you mean, like, scratchy and like gross. yeah. You and Aaron are both the same I way. You both are very particular about right? that. No, I actually, Aaron and I both hate shirts like that, so we're always pretty, uh, 
sure to make like at least you guys are very anal about shirts. I hate shirts with designs the that are like itchy and gross. The way they rub your nipples and things. You like, guys are very particular. I mean, about I'm that. sorry about this, but I don't I don't like Gildan shirts. They they always like itch my nipples. What and they shirts? shrink Gildan. weird. What's Gildan? It's a type of shirt. It's a shirt company. Oh. Oh, I guarantee I like everyone them. has a Gildan shirt in their American closet. Apparel is fine. American Apparel is great. Yeah, they're really smooth. They, they hold up they, through several washings. Around? Yeah, they so. are, but they're floundering. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh, guys, we didn't do it. What? What's wrong? Uh -oh. oh, you gotta place the shapes. Oh, fuck. Hurry. Oh my the god. Time, talk, the clock's chick t clicking. This game is literally for babies, so if I can't do this, I'm going to be We should have brought Audrey. Yeah, <laughs> she loves playing games with daddy. She's so a do I. Angel. I love playing See, games with daddy. Ross, that is what you call a setup and mm -hmm. a punch. You did it. I, I set you up. You did it. Nice. Oh, but we uh, still lost. But we still lost. Oh, that music. She, uh, actually, she sings a lot about daddy now. You'd like it. Oh, yeah? She's singing this. Uh, what did she sing? Can you give us one of the songs? Can yeah. You, can you do a cover? Uh, she, her favorite thing to do is she will take a children's song, which are the only songs she knows, except for Take On Me, because we, uh, Danny and I did it. And um, uh, and she'll replace the word like any word at the end of a sentence with mommy or daddy. So the one we got this morning was the itsy bitsy daddy <laughs> went up the water, mommy. Aww. Out came the daddy and washed the spider, daddy. Is that her trying to like make sure you guys are paying attention? It's her being silly, and then she'll go, I silly. Aww. <laughs> Aww. You know. It sounds stupid, but it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. That, that's super cute. Oh, Santa bonus for extra money. I don't even know what we do with this money. Whoa, do we get to buy stuff? You Look, go, we have you 60 go, bucks. You go buy a, a Christmas ham. And you get a multiplier. Ham. Oh, where, where, where? Multiplier, he's my favorite YouTuber. Uh, <laughs> up at the top, it says 75 <laughs> times one. So I'm guessing at some oh, point yeah. we get a multiplier. Oh, oh, yeah, you're right. This is... <laughs> I like this game. I'm having a good time. Are you guys having fun? I like that. I'm having a great time, dude. I love Christmas. I hate it. No, I love Christmas. It's my favorite. I couldn't even say that with a straight face. Aww. Christmas is like so fucking rad. <laughs> Don't forget the tent. I've never seen yeah. snow next to a Christmas tree before. That was kind of special. That's unreal, dude. Yeah. Like I, oh, I can't believe it. Like yeah. I guess, what are you talking about? Snow uh, when, next to a Christmas Because when I was in, uh, you mean like a pine tree? No. Uh, oh, when oh, when shit, we were I in Minis Minnesota, the hotel we had had a Christmas tree inside, and outside it was all snow, and I'd never seen that before. Amazing. That was just super interesting. I to gotta me. say, dude, Minnesota is fucking awesome. Like, yeah, I loved Minnesota. Chicago and Minnesota were pretty interesting. There's a lot of angry people in the road in Chicago. The moon, though. the moon. You missed the moon, dude. Oh. Didn't I get it? And it wasn't no, in the wasn't spot. In. You gotta. I didn't. Yeah, oh. this is what happens. This is errors are made. People die when errors are made. Okay. Well, I know, bro. That's just solitaire. You don't that's put that nut works. in that bolt. Plane, the, the plane will just crash. Okay. Yep. Oh shit! The queen. Oh. Queen fuck. slay. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Get here we go now. Um, yeah. Come anyways, on. did you guys like get like something in your stocking every year that like was like a tradition? I guess. Yes, for us it was scratch off lottery tickets. Oh my! Parents yeah, did me too. too. Me too. My parents would always give us like a couple scratch offs, and you know, we never won anything. I don't. Anything, never won. I don't. Uh, never won. I don't. I don't like lottery. I don't. I don't like lottery tickets. I don't like. I don't oh. like gambling. I'm not. Yeah, I, I I hate lottery stuff now because I know how improbable it is that you're gonna win, so it just seems like a complete waste of money. It is a it complete is, waste yeah. of money. But uh, I, I also understand that some people just think it's really fun, and that's, you know, if you go into it knowing it's just, like, fun, hey, who cares? Have fun. Dude, every time the Powerball goes up to, like, 400 million, like it did, like, last week, like, I'll buy a ticket, like, whatever. Yeah, it's fun. Um, but yeah, my dad would always put, uh, like, dental hygiene items in our stockings. <laughs> like, I remember I got my first electric toothbrush in a stocking. Like, in a stocking? Yeah, he'll do, like, floss picks, uh, razors, shaving cream. That says awesome. qu quack. Cack. <laughs> it's like keck, but nice quack. Keck. keck. Yeah, but that was my dad's thing. Oh, I think I got this level, guys. You Holy fucking shit. did it, man. Oh my god. Dude, is this the mannequin challenge? Santa hasn't moved at all. <laughs> Santa dab. Oh. Got some Santa bonus. Oh my god, we're like at 317 bucks. All right. Oh my god. All right, Come one on. more. You got this. Oh god damn. Make sure you actually get it in there this time. <laughs> nice one. With your baby game. It's got to lock in, yeah. Yeah, you got to lock it in. Oh, that's not lock locked in. in. See, that's what happens when go. you're not paying attention, you. Brian. People die. Are these chocolates? Yeah, yes. They are. They're holiday chocolates. We're, we're we're actually packing them to send them Boom. out. Boom. Free oh. labor. All right. 
Yes! We did it! Ha -ha! Perfect. Well, that was again hard. I kicked something's ass. Magical. Did you get a stocking when you were a kid, guys? Do we just keep going with this? Did I get a stocking? Yeah. Uh, the answer to that question is, is yes, I did. What'd you get in yours? Uh, normally, uh, a lottery tickets, and I hate those. Uh, and, um, but you know what? I'm not gonna stare a, a horse in the mouth, because they've got bad breath, and, uh... What are you even talking about? Exactly. Uh, so, well, the best thing I ever got in a stocking was the first Mario Brothers on the Whoa, NES. Oh, that's that a made great me, stocking. That made present. me flip out. I was like, holy fucking shit, what is this? And then I put it in, and I couldn't figure out how to get over the first Goomba. I, I was so young. I, well, I would have been like, huh, I would have been like early, early primary school. So I don't, I don't know. I have a very clear memory on a Christmas. So I have no idea how old I was, probably like six or something like that. Um, opening up like a, a present. And it had like a weird like UFO or something on it, and I was like, "What the fuck is it?" It was just like a kind of book shaped box. Mm. I had no idea what it was. And then oh, yeah. the next present, first thing was Space Invaders. Yeah. And the next one was an actual Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Wow. Forty one, right? So like that was when they first came out, and uh, oh my god, like did you um... Atari was everything to me when I was you know. <laughs> did you ever play a uh, uh, Commodore sixty four? Oh yeah, of course. Um, that was my dad's first gaming console, and he always talks about it when we talk about old games. And uh -oh. then he said his, his favorite pudding. his favorite oh, Christmas game. Christmas pudding. Which one is it? It's the one on the. I'm gonna say the one on the far left. Oh, oh shit! Bam! A little something called paying attention. <laughs> when uh, I was a kid, I opened a Pokemon Red for the Game Boy Color, and I was like, "But I don't have a Game Boy Color." <laughs> and then the next one I opened was a Game Boy Color. Oh, that's nice. lucky. Yeah. That's that would be embarrassing otherwise. Um, my. Uh, <laughs> What was I gonna say? I got a- oh, that's right, my dad. My dad's favorite game on the Commodore 64 was Attack of the Mutant Camels. What? I no, I do yeah. not remember that It's it's a, It's a game where you, uh, you have to shoot a camel. Alright. It's a mutant cool. camel. Your dad liked that game? Yeah, it was his favorite game, and he says it's really fun. I haven't- I've seen footage of it, I've never played it. I tried to hunt it down, because I wanted to play it on the show, uh, for Father's Day. Um, because I thought it'd be special, but I couldn't find it. How often does your- your dad watch Game Crumbs for us? Uh... Pretty much never. Uh, I think if I- the only reason he'll watch it is if I tell him something happened and he'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the only episode he's probably watched is probably the Amazing World one where we called him up. Aww. And he's like, Condom Ross. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's the best. My dad watches Game Grumps sometimes and he mm. says that you're his favorite character. Aww. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I mean, he calls you character, but... Character, I am a character. More than his own son. Or yeah. daughter, sorry. You're, you're well, it's yeah. son in well, law. Like, you know, I'm not on it often, but when he does watch, he says he loves the Ross bids. Thank you. He says, God damn it, Ross a lot. I know you don't oh. like that anymore, but I, it's, my dad I, it's, is oh, way no, you behind on the it's, no, here, can I, can well, I just you, get, you told me that you love. Can I just get to the bottom it. of this? Because there's been a lot of misinformation about yes, that. Okay, hold on. Guys, we're turning the, we're briefly turning the floor over to Ross. I'm going to stop all gameplay so that we can. We can get the scoop and all just We're pay attention. We're at a one times one multiplier okay. right now. Ross, you're on a multiplier. Keep playing. No, no, it's not. It's not okay, time. Whatever. It's not, it's not a time. I'm multiplier. just saying. Pay that attention to the game. Okay, Ross. We're turning the floor over to you. Take it and say what you need to play. All gameplay has stopped. Thank you for that setup, Brian. Um, I just wanted to say that I don't mind it. It's just that when I'm out in public, like. I don't know, let's just say a real public place where, let's say, half the people, majority of the people around me don't know what the fuck that is, and someone screams at me from the top of their lungs when, it, when they walk past. Yeah, it's kind of cringy, it's kind of embarrassing, it's kind of, kind of weird, kind of weird. In a, in a good way, though, you like it. No, it's fucking awful. So you hate it? Yeah. That, that, that was the point of this, is that you don't want anyone to ever say, I, God damn it. You can say it, I don't mind. I'm just saying, like, if... It's a public place. Don't yell at the top of your lungs. So you're saying treat you like a human being is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> treat me human! <laughs> Alright, gameplay continues, everybody. Uh, yeah, no, it, that's only common sense. Like, nobody should fucking yell anything at you. It oh. happened at an airport once. Oh, it was yeah, awesome. Wait, only the one in the picture. I know, I'm doing it. Okay. He knows. Aha! Yeah, I hate it whenever I see people who just, like, scream shit at Aaron. Uh... Ooh. I mean, whatever. I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's, but like, it's fine. Person it's like a human being, what? you know? That's all I'm saying. Oh, I see. It's a wild card. Don't just, like, see him across the mall and, like, scream at the top of your lungs. Like, hey, people I'm people, grown. people were saying, like, oh, Ross hated it when, uh, I don't know. Like, I Ross thought he didn't it. like it. No, I, it's like, I don't, I don't mind it. I just go, yeah, that's a thing. But I'm just saying, if someone says it, like, in the middle of a public space and screams it at me and everyone looks at me like, what the fuck did you do? So when people treat you less than human, you don't. 
I mean, just would like anyone? Have, yeah, just like any human being. I mean, yes. I, I personally love it when people in a very public space start screaming catchphrases at me. Like you have a PhD? Yeah, that that thing I haven't said in over a year. Yes, that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm glad we're getting this all out in the air. It's yeah, Christmas. This got, this got real. Is the Christmas airing of grievances where you hold the pole or whatever? <laughs> that is actually a great uh, tradition. Mm. I'm glad. We I'm can have just a week this. of playing happy holiday games and laying into the fans. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that sounds great. And I think I've had many people will unsubscribe. <laughs> somewhere, someone started a rumor that instead of wedding rings, Aaron and I did our blonde streaks to match for wedding rings. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know like where this came from. That's but hilarious. It's so Truth? correct. I'm I'm so, so I'm I'm correct. curious because like uh, I I don't wear a wedding ring most of the time. I have one mm. and. I just choose not to wear it because I, Holly and I work with our hands a lot because Holly yes. does sculpting and drawing and it's I do the so same fun. thing and animating. But like most of the time, I'm like I'll, I'll wear it when we go to like events and stuff. But generally speaking, I just fucking hate having things on my hands. And Holly's the same way. Yeah. Like we just don't care. Dude, I'll do a video with Aaron in the video, and I will have like just taken a shower and forgot to put back on my ring, and people will be like, "Susie's not wearing a ring. They're getting divorced." And it's like, <laughs> no. Wow. Okay. That's what happened okay. when my mommy and daddy left each uh. other. So yeah. it must be happening to them. I just, I don't understand, like, the very childish reasoning behind stuff like that. Because mommy and daddy did it, all right? Listen. Yeah. Uh, I wear it. Personally, I just mm -hmm. wear my ring all the time. Yeah, I but that's because a, you're a dad. A of my commitment you're a to dad. My, to my that ch it makes everything different. Dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm a dad, Ross. Mm -hmm. I'm a dad. Dad. Daddy. Yeah, I was oh, shit. Why, why do people turn. make the comment dad on people's Instagram posts? Why is that a thing? I think I it's because they want you to be their dad. But like, it's weird. different if they call you daddy. I thought it was like, a, I thought even with dad, it was just like, I thought it was some, you know, sex thing. No, I, I think only daddy is the sex thing. I think dad is just, because like people will comment on my pictures, mom. You know, the only, the only, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. The only man that's allowed to call me daddy is Jimmy Wetzel. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> yes. guys, guys, we finished Santa's lounge. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. Oh, oh shit. we Next got the level. spinning so, stock of doom. We are doing all 24 levels of this before Christmas. <laughs> um, we're going to do this. Ross's face. <laughs> yes. Ross's well, it's because me and Holly say he's our surrogate son, but he can call me daddy anytime well, he Ross, wants. can you tell people how much you wanted to do a second episode of uh, Christmas there was Christmas Solitaire? There was this moment between episodes where I was like, I don't think everyone's going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're one of the five people watching this episode, tweet at Rubber Ninja. The the following Be nice. Phrase. Now just say, you were wrong. Yes. And yes. I will totally read it. And he will like it. And he might retweet it. And we'll play more Christmas games next time on Bye. Steam Train. Steam Slay, bitch. Steam Slay. 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 Cool. All right. Next game. Those are really Great. good. Yeah, that worked out. That was fun. Let me stop the oh. capture.